The state of Michigan has set a goal to be carbon free by 2040, but meeting that goal may involve a surprising solution, nuclear power plants on the state's lakes and rivers. Sherry McCorder covered the story for MLive. The state's Public Service Commission recently received an update on the draft report from nuclear industry consultants who said a new nuclear power station or nuclear power plants will be needed here in Michigan if we want to meet the state's climate and energy goals. The report concluded that while nuclear energy is extremely expensive, it can produce lots of energy without generating carbon emissions. But Sherry says that the question of atomic energy's cleanliness isn't so straightforward. For many climate action advocates and even energy industry proponents, yes, nuclear energy is clean energy. It comes without planet warming carbon emissions, but there are those in the environmental justice realm who have equally valid concerns about the harmful effects of uranium mining on those already marginalized communities, um, as well as concerns about nuclear waste being so-called temporarily stored uh, at power plants all over America. But in terms of the legal definition here in Michigan, according to a recently adopted law, yes, nuclear energy is defined as clean energy. There are also economic considerations. Nuclear plants are extremely expensive to build and maintain, but they can also create new revenue for the state and its residents. It, it could mean billions of dollars in economic benefits uh, to revitalize the nuclear industry in Michigan. There would be the value of the energy generated, you know, that itself, plus the taxes that the companies pay to local municipalities. Um, there would also be thousands of new and well-paid jobs so what's next for atomic energy in the state? Sherry says there are a few things that could happen. I'd say first up would be the ongoing efforts to get the 800 megawatt Palisades plant back up and running. It, it would be the first time in the United States that uh, a nuclear power plant that had begun decommissioning was ever returned into service. But that's really just the start. In the short term, the consultants who authored the report will expand it based on public input and deliver the final draft to the Public Service Commission. They are expected to have a final draft back to the Michigan Public Service Commission um, in the coming months. And um, the legislature uh, is expecting a report due back by the end of April. So what lawmakers do with the information remains to be seen.